Geronimo Springs Museum, in truth or consequences, has a lot to offer with a remarkable native pottery collection, an impressive exhibit honoring the ranching history of the region, and, of course, a full room dedicated to the radio show that gave the town its unusual name. But Geronimo Springs also offers something no other museum can match. Several times each summer, the museum offers tours of the nearby and immense Armendaris Ranch. These fundraising tours begin before actually reaching the ranch with a stop and a few stories on El Camino Real. And of course when the wagon trains came north and the Apaches on the distant mountains looked at it, they said uh, something to the effect of, oh, a rolling Walmart, let's go help ourselves. <laughs> This is along a grueling 100-mile stretch of El Camino Real, known as Jornada del Muerto, or Journey of Death. The trail took travelers away from the Rio Grande for the flat, dry terrain out here. But out here in the desert, you don't live without water. One of the final stretches of the Jornada ran across the Armendaris. Ted Turner bought the huge ranch in 1994 and hired Tom Waddell to manage it. So I said, what am I supposed to do? They said, <laughs> Ted said, put it back like it was. He said he wants apple mouth falcons and prairie dogs to be ready for buffalo in six months. We'll get to those buffalo in a moment. With Tom driving the lead truck and a line of vehicles behind him, we head out onto the ranch. With the exception of an electronic gate, not much changes out here, unless, of course, you're talking turtle. The ranch has an area designated for preservation, breeding, and research of the rare Bolson tortoise. That's one down there in that hole. Now what they do is they go down the hole, then they'll turn sideways yeah. to block the hole so nobody can get in there. Of course, researching their lifespan is a major proposition, since they can live more than 150 years. You know, it's like growing a, it's like you decided to grow a sequoia forest. You know, <laughs> <laughs> Back in the cars, it's time to find what might be called the featured attraction of the ranch, buffalo. There is a large herd on the Armendaris, but this natural habitat has led researchers to an interesting conclusion. Left to their own desires and devices, buffalo don't congregate in those giant groups that stereotypically carpet the plains in furry brown. Instead, they form up in small family groups like this one. This scene could be much like what Spanish expeditions encountered as they traveled El Camino Real. And this is very near the end of the most rigorous stretch of that long journey away from the Rio Grande. Small communities once sat along the river here to welcome the parched travelers. And so this Prahi, Bosquecito, Contradera up by Black Mesa were the only places that um, you could get wagons back in the river. And so that's where the little settlements were. This modern day expedition travels faster but must still cope with rutted terrain and sandy soil. No pavement, few amenities. Except for what you carry with you, and in this case that includes a plush luncheon spread at the tour's midpoint. With the experience gained from past tours, the organizers have a system and a menu well suited for this wilderness stop. Now it's a case of we have a system that works that people like the food, and you know the old adage when you get something that works why change it so while the lunch setup takes place tom holds court with the rest of the tour the subject is the famed civil war battle of valverde which just happened to take place on the ranch tom is part historian part humorist part philosopher and all storyteller there wasn't a winner or a loser both sides were successful following the orders that they were given. One was the orders of the Union was not to let them take the fort, which they didn't take the fort. That was their only orders. They didn't even try, did they, really? Yeah, they, they're, 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 around it. yeah, well, and then the other one was don't lose all your men trying to take the fort if you can get around it or something. And so both sides were, they followed their war strategy right there. It is that history and the chance to walk in the footsteps of ancestors that drew these two sisters from California to this tour. It's just fascinating because this whole country is so rich of all the culture that's come up, you know, over the course of time. 
So, and I love history, and so does my sister. Mm -hmm. So, and we're just having a good old time. And during lunch, Tom's stories don't stop. He shares a more realistic picture of the Old West than anything Hollywood depicts. His stories are noticeably lacking rose-colored glasses and romanticism. Well, we just didn't have all the ugly stuff recorded, the communications that went on. It was an ugly, ugly world, you know. The Old West, it wasn't some glorious thing, you know. And so uh, it was pretty harsh living. The final stop on the tour offers a bone-rattling sample of how harsh this land can still be. The climb up Black Mesa comes on what could be called a roadbed only with the broadest of definitions. It taxes the suspensions of the vehicles and the spines of the occupants. Good tires, four-wheel drive, and high clearance all get a severe test on this climb, but the payoff at the top has all the tour participants forgetting the rigors of the road up. The Mesa overlooks the Rio Grande and offers stunning views in every direction. And off one edge is a clear view of what once was the settlement of Valverde, the site of that Civil War battle. On the long and still rough ride back to ranch headquarters, another group of buffalo offers a last chance to marvel at all this ranch contains.